How much education do you think plays actually a part into being able to get back into tech? Well, I, I, I mean, tech is sort of like a buzzword. I mean, if you look in tech, it's a, it's a vast ecosystem with many different roles, many different startups. Like you have people who are in technical roles who are usually there after a significant amount of education. So a computer science degree, people who are doing like more advanced stuff like AI and machine learning, data science. Those are usually people with PhDs. So, so um, based on like the level of sophistication, you would see like someone with a very, very thorough educational background. And then there's obviously a, a ton of other roles as well that form the backbone of every startup from HR, customer success, marketing, operations that don't necessarily require particular accreditation or a formal degree. Um, so I, I think it, re it really varies on the position. Mm -hmm. So if you're not actually doing the tech tech itself, like you said, machine learning, AI, data processing, et cetera, do you, we don't, you don't need a degree to enter into tech and earn and do well based on, you know, on the backbone of uh, like the wave of tech. Was that, was that correct? Well, I'm, yes. what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help people understand how they can get in tech so they can navigate it better and so that they can know what their options are based on their current education um, or their networking or their skills or their, their languages, et cetera. So people can have a better idea because I think there isn't anyone that knows as well as you of how they were to get into tech. And so hopefully we're able to do that and help people create a better living for themselves and provide greater opportunities for Israeli um, technology companies. Um, so outside of, let's say, the engineering, you know, like machine learning, those that you mentioned, those doing marketing, HR and all that too, are people looking for college degrees? Is that expected? Or is that a, is that a plus or... In my case, I think it's a negative usually. If you're under 30 and you have a college degree, you know, it's, it's probably a bad life decision if you're not studying STEM. So I, I would actually extend that. And I would say that even in, in engineering roles, you don't need a college degree necessarily. In right, order to I agree with that. So, so if you sort of just compare to, you know, your, your, your um, typical white collar professions such as law or, or, or medicine, say like, then, uh -huh. like even today, like, those are those are degrees where you need to be accredited in order to enter. Like I can't like doesn't matter how talented I am in filing tax reports and doing law like tax. If I submit my resume to a law firm without a law degree, they're not going to look at me. But, you know, you have a 15 year old, you know, super, you know, like a genius wonder kid who's been like coding since age three um, is like living in his mother's basement. Like he submits his resume to Google like he he might get in because because they're, they're looking for skills, right? It's like a skills. Right. They, they dropped college. I know Google and Apple. They, they, they also dropped, Facebook. And Facebook, right, also. Yeah. Um, they dropped college like a few years ago, right? You don't need to have college yeah. degrees. So, and, so and there's, I, kind of, there's yeah. better talent that didn't go to college. You, you can think more objectively. You get them when they're younger. They expect to be paid less. And people walk out with college degree to say, hey, I got this piece of paper. I want to be paid more. And we're like, uh, no. Uh, someone of your same age, what guardian we should get paid more with no college degree because they've been working in the private sector already for the last few years. Um, do you think this is uh, do you think this trip would you say this applies throughout all of Israeli tech that if they see talent, they don't care for college degrees? And do you think that the college system is no longer necessary in order to to get him to let's say STEM, particularly in Israel, um, I know there are, of course, there are many exceptions. Um, but do you think people are looking for it less? Because I do know people are still looking for like, what is your army experience? Have you been to the army, and how much that helps? Of course, if you're an Oled, they understand that, and they'll make an exception that you weren't in the army. They understand that as an immigrant. But do you think that so if one doesn't have a college degree and they want to get into um, engineering, how would they, like do they need a college degree in order to be able to do that? Short answer is no. Long answer is maybe. I think for most people, having a college degree in a relevant STEM field is a ticket in to get into a. You would say it's a ticket, so you'd have no problem. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have trouble getting in. Is that true? If you have a STEM degree. Correct. Generally I speaking, I mean, of course, some bunch of people suck and they won't. But let's say ninety percent of the people that have uh, a STEM degree, though, you should be able to get a job in tech. Is that correct? I think that I, I think that someone someone who's talented who does not have a STEM degree and who has uh, who can prove their talent uh, via relevant background and experience they they will land that they will land a technical role. Someone who has a degree um, isn't necessarily guaranteed a role. Um, but I think for most people, going through the college route is one of the most prevalent avenues to get to land sort of their first job in high tech because it is a standardized system 
Um, and, and, and basically it, it, it is one of the ways that you can sort of prove on a resume in lieu of like actual experience that you know your stuff. Cause at the end mm-hmm. of the day, e- even though, even though it's not an, um, there's the, 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 it's not a certification based field or role like law or medicine, you still have to get through that first gatekeeper, which is, you know, the recruiters or the sources who are looking over your resume and you have to prove that, that that you are, you have the skill set to be able to work in that role and therefore it's not a waste of time to be invited to to invite you to an interview because they they're looking at like 100 resumes for one open position and they they don't have the capacity now to invite 100 people and to interview every single person selectively so you still need to be able to prove somehow that you have the skill set i think that having a college degree for most people um, provides them with a framework to to acquire that knowledge um, some people, of course, may not need it. Like if some people have the discipline to sort of study on their own and, and, and to sort of grasp the material on their own, you don't necessarily need that college degree. I think a lot of people do. Um, but, but at the end of the day, for someone who is sort of going the independent path and learning on their own, how do you prove at the end of the day, if you're going for an entry level job, how do you prove at the end of the day that you have the skills and the experience to be able to succeed in that role? Right. Mm-hmm. So, so even though on the one hand, you don't necessarily need to have a, a, a STEM college degree in order to work in a technical role, for a lot of people, that is you their need to demonstrate in. competence. You, you need to demonstrate competence yeah. and, and college. Is, yes. and, a, and, a co- and a degree in STEM is one way to demonstrate right. the amount of competence. I can, I, can just tell you, and, yeah, I can just tell you anecdotally, like based on people who I know who, who work with me or who work, uh, or, or friends of mine who work at other companies, um, I've seen I've seen people who have who have uh, gotten their first job post computer science degree. Some who don't have a computer science degree at all, but but they have a relevant technological background from the army. And then there are some people who have neither, and they've sort of gone the independent route. So there are people like that. They, I think they're mm-hmm. definitely the minority, but you do have stories, right? So unlike now, are those things- network, like I'm just wondering, like how much does networking play a part? So like, can you network your way if you don't have the degree? So I'm just trying to think, right? I'm an Ola. I have no connections in tech. I mean, I do marketing for tech, but obviously I need to just strongly network into tech. I enjoy networking. It's fun. I love meeting new people. It's great. I love learning about new companies, the cool things they're doing. But like, if you're here, you're an Ola, and you're like, yo, I got excellent English. That's a plus. No Hebrew. Um, and I want to get into tech. I don't have a tech degree. Okay, that's fine. You know, I can hustle. I can grind. I'm even maybe... I'll work for almost nothing or even free just to get that experience. How do we want to network to get themselves in if they don't have, as you call it, the ticket of a college education um, for STEM, or even if they're not in STEM, let's say, whatever. how do you network yourself into being able to get into tech so you can earn a great living? So I think that an, ha- having a network is extremely important. By the way, not just in Israel, anywhere, right? Like right. The, the number of people who I know who have landed jobs because you know, a friend of theirs has sort of submitted their resume on their behalf or have recommended mm-hmm. them. There's so a lot of people get in that way. But I also think that uh, there's a limit to how much a network can help you um, in terms mm-hmm. of it, depending on the role. So, for example, for a technical based role, no, no amount of networking will get you in if it's a merit if it's a merit based position that requires that you demonstrate certain skill sets. So if you don't know how to code, it doesn't matter how right. much, how great you're you're obviously you're not going to get a job in coding, right? I understand right. that, you know. But then but but then for like positions that require more of like a soft skill set that are maybe a little bit more ambiguous in terms of the background that they require, um I I I would assume that a network that would play a larger role especially for entry level jobs where you don't necessarily have that demonstrated experience on your resume. Um 